When you look at the live Mega Doppler 7000 HD tonight, the front is located just to our west out over the ocean. Right along this front is where we have the heaviest rain, of course, and that's a band. It's associated with an atmospheric river that's feeding in from the southwest. That's going to come through us in the morning hours, giving us our heaviest rain. We already had over an inch of rain to two inches of rain up on the central coast and also some lightning strikes up there too tonight. So as we zoom in a little bit closer, this is just the light uh, rain that we see tonight from Air 7. Heavier rain is on the way and that'll arrive, as I said, around sunrise tomorrow morning and move right across the area during the day on Saturday. So as we zoom out, we'll show you that winter storm warning. Uh, five to 10 inches of snow is expected above 6,000 feet or so up there in the Ventura County Mountains and Big Bear also. So you have to carry the change tomorrow and also be prepared for really tough driving. Reduced visibility in heavy rain below 5,000 feet and then snow and near blizzard conditions up there in the mountain areas. Radar, it's such a great tool. It looks at rain and thunderstorms out and then and sends that signal back to us. That's the live Mega Doppler. As I told Mark earlier, there's a chance using the Doppler effect, we could have some water spouts on Sunday along the coastline. We'll be watching that for you too over the weekend. Wow, look at that area of low pressure tonight. It looks almost like a hurricane, doesn't it? With winds strong out of the north on the backside of the low and then colliding with strong winds coming up from the southeast today. It was really gusty. And when those southeasterly winds collide along the front, that is where we get all the action, and that's coming through. Santa Barbara in the early morning hours and by around sunrise right across the L.A. area producing snow. The front continues to make its way southeastward, arriving in Riverside. Be prepared for heavy rain there and down in Orange County. Now, the difference between this weather system is once the front goes through by Saturday night, look at isolated showers and thunderstorms developing in the cold air behind it. That area of low pressure will generate a chance of rain, Orange County, Riverside, and this is Easter morning at seven o'clock. Not everybody will have rain, but if you're under one of those big cells, you could get uh, some lightning and some hail with that too. Finally starts to break up on Monday, and I think we're in good shape by afternoon. Uh, rainfall totals will be impressive downtown by tomorrow night, 11 o'clock about this time, about an inch to an inch and a half downtown and some of those foothill areas will be pushing about two inches of rain. A few areas could hit three. Here's seven day forecast and for the weekend it is going to be wet rain with one to two inches flooding is possible and temperatures are cool only 60 to 61 on Sunday though I did put a little sunshine breaking through at times but a thunderstorm is possible. Monday, partly cloudy, then beautiful weather coming up Tuesday and Wednesday. By Wednesday, check this out, 80 degrees in the valley. So a big change from this weekend, two to three in the valleys and in those foothill communities that can produce uh, rock slides and mudslides and flooding and then isolated thunder and maybe even a water spout possible along the coast on Sunday. Then beautiful weather as we get into Wednesday as as I mentioned 80 degrees at the beaches cold and wet down at Newport Beach tomorrow. One to two inches of rain could hit three in some of those Santa Ana mountain areas. And then on Sunday, an isolated thunderstorm cold at the beach this weekend, too, only about 58, 59. In the mountain areas, carry the change. You'll need them uh, two to six inches of rain below 5,000 feet. And then above six to 6,500, we're looking at maybe one, one and a half feet of snow on through Sunday. Snow continues into Monday. In the deserts, Mark, it's all about the gusty winds blowing out there up to 40 and 50 miles per hour. So amazing late in the season, but with an El Nino type of pattern, we can get these weather systems way into April. So that's why it's going to be this weekend, my friend. All right. Happy good. Easter. You too, Dallas. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.